Center, welcoming you to the afternoon edition of Prime Plus. Coming to you live from the studios of My Media, Prime here in Cameroon's economic capital. Well, I begin the news in the northwest region of the Republic of Cameroon, where heavy gunshots interrupted Roman Catholic Christians of the Diocese of Kumbu as they celebrated the 40th anniversary of Bishop George Kuo. Locals say the shooting was carried out by separatist fighters in a beat to disrupt the occasion attended by top administrative officials, including Northwest Governor Adolf Lili Lafrique. Those present were forced to lie down for fear of being hit by stray bullets. The mass, however, continued later without interruption. We remain in the Northwest where Governor Adolf Lili Lafrique has announced the disappearance of four of of fun of Oko His Royal Highness Sintengu Matun Yosembom in the night of May 6 at the Bamenda Regional Hospital after battling ill health. The governor has extended his condolences to bereaved family, entire Oku community, and funds of Northwest who have lost their peace, whose contribution to maintaining peace was enormous. Now children aged between the ages 0 to 5 will for the next three days be administered two drops of oral polio vaccines with a national campaign which kicks off today May 7, 2021. The campaign has been officially launched by Public Health Minister Dr. Manabuda Malachi in Yawundi. According to the Extended Immunization Program, this vaccination will be done through the door-to-door -door strategy in households across the country. Now a lady identified as Mekia Pauline Besong, who was beaten by a police officer in Kumba, has forwarded a letter of complaint against the police officer seeking justice. According to the testimony given by Mekia Pauline, the police officer Mama Nash Linge attacked her right inside her house, threatening that he will kill her and nothing will be nothing will happen to him. She is demanding justice as she believes her life is being threatened. Now, Territorial Administration Minister Paul Athanganji has warned against the illegal proliferation of firearms and ammunition in the country, citing rising insecurity. Minat Ball sounded the warning during a meeting with firearms dealers May 6 in the nation's political capital. According to Minister Paul Athanganji, the number of guns owned by civilians was higher than the licenses issued to them. Now, Cameroon's Ministry of Defense has banned the authorized, unauthorized civilians from wearing MINDEF fabricated face masks. Minister Joseph Betty Asomo in a secular says a few cases of physical attacks on peaceful citizens have been reported across the country by individuals wearing anti-COVID-19 masks inscribed MINDEF or Gendarme. The minister warned that unauthorized use of masks will attract sanctions from security persons. Out of the country, convoys of troops allied to the opposition have been withdrawn from Somalia's capital, Mogadishu, a fortnight after clashes and the city's packed fears of a return to civil war. The withdrawal is as a result of new political negotiations aimed at resolving a better dispute of a long-delayed election. Their sudden arrival in the city last month led to clashes with pro-government forces and mass exodus of civilians. Now Rwanda is working with international partners to bring in the latest technology to help the country produce COVID-19 vaccines of the manna type, such as Pisa and Modena. Rwanda's health minister, Thosias Bunga, said discussions were at an advanced stage to open a vaccine plant to aid the vaccination campaign in Africa. The World Health Organization says African countries are running out of supplies of COVID-19 vaccines and there is concern over the availability of further doses. So far, seven countries have already exhausted the vaccines they received from the UN-backed COVAX scheme, with Africa representing 2% of administration. 
In a related story, Ghana has received 350,000 doses of the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccines. This is the second consignment received in the global COVAX facility after the country took delivery of the 600,000 doses of vaccine in February. The latest consignment of Oxford AstraZeneca was originally allocated to the Democratic Republic of Congo, but it failed to use them. Ghana's COVID-19 vaccination campaign had suffered a setback following delays in getting COVAX vaccines from India. Health authorities say about 850,000 Ghanaians have so far received a job out of a population of 31 million people. Over in Nigeria, an unknown number of university students have been kidnapped in the southeastern Nigerian state of Abia. The group was abducted on Wednesday, same day that 29 students seized last month in the northwestern state of Kaduna, were released reportedly after the payment of a ransom. Authorities in Uma here in the state say the students of the Abia State University, Uthuru, were moving in a minivan on Wednesday evening when they ran into the armed gang who kidnapped alongside travelers. Such abductions have become common in parts of Nigeria. And close to 200 homes have been destroyed and more than a thousand people were injured after rainstorms swept through Kepi in a Liberian town on the border with Guinea. Among the injured is an 11-year-old girl who sustained a fractured leg when a wall collapsed on her. Local authorities have put out an appeal for humanitarian assistance in the country. This concludes the 3.30 p.m. edition of Prime Flash on my media, Prime Television, developments of these stories, and more beyond at exactly 6.30 p.m. with Genda, Peart, and Blanche. The news was compiled and produced by A1 and the Linga Elam. My name is Von Quinta. Stay tuned to more programs on my media, Prime Television. Goodbye.